Welcome to the Hour of Code in Tustin Unified. In this video, you will learn how to code using the app Codesters. Click on the link to enter their website. Once you enter their website, you will see that it has blocks of code on the left that you will drag and drop into the workspace area in the center, where you can see all this code is written. To run the code, just click the green play button and the code will then run and appear on the stage. Here you can see the very beginning of the Create a PSA Challenge from Codesters for Hour of Code. Each lesson has directions that you will follow, and once it says great job and you completed the task correctly, you can click the Submit button, which submits your work to allow you to move to the next lesson without any mistakes. Then you will click the Next Activity button to enter the next lesson. In Lesson 2 of the Create a PSA Challenge, it's asking you to find a stage block called Pawn. If you can't find it, you can simply use the toolkit search at the top. Once you find it, drag and drop it into the workspace, click Run to see your background image, and then click Submit to turn in your work, and then Next to move on. It is important to see the Great Job check plus before you hit Submit, otherwise incorrect code could be carried to the next level. Let's take a look at the final lesson in Create a PSA for the Codesters Challenge. This is a create project, which means that you have a lot of freedom. You don't have to do it exactly as the directions say. Notice that there are some grayed out lines of code that are called pseudocode or comments. They're just for you and the computer does not run them when they run the code. Notice in the top left corner, there are other lessons from Codesters. Basketball is another hour of code challenge. This is very similar to the first activity, but you will build a basketball arcade game. Go ahead and click get started to check it out. I'm going to click run and I can see the background stage. There are additional lessons that you can find. However, the micro ball definitely uses a tool you probably don't have called a micro bit. It is also important to know that although Codesters does work on an iPad, it really functions best if you have a keyboard. So it would be best to use a laptop or computer or an external keyboard for your iPad to learn how to code using the app Codesters. Okay, coders, good luck and enjoy the hour of code.